Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out here in the field. We're going to do some uh, experimenting today with uh, uh, panoramas. So, as you saw in a few past videos, I've been working with the ICE, the image composite uh, editor from Microsoft. And one of the things I want to do is I want to take the raw 180 images and see if I can create a 360 degree panorama. So I'm going to do two episodes on this one. The first one is going to be this one where I, t I do three 180s and then the next one I'm going to do four 180s and compare the results between those and see what we get. So I've already checked hover. We're good to go, ready to fly. So I'm going to go ahead and take this up, get this up in the air and get this all going. So I've got screen recording uh, running. I'm connected to the copter and I have satellites and uh, let's go ahead and if this cooperates take it up. Okay so just do a quick uh, check. We're going to also fly again with the sunshade and uh, protector on the front of it. And so, kind of a long story short, what I'm going to do is uh, just take it up to... I'm just going to take it right here, just straight up. Okay, I'm at about 189 feet. And I'm going to switch this around. And, all right, so I'm pointing in that direction. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my first panorama sequence. So it's going to go through here and it's going to take 21 pictures. So this is going to be a pretty big... So one of the things you have to be a little bit cognizant of is, is battery life in this this whole scenario is it's going to take because I'm going to do what uh, 63 pictures in the end and so uh, it's going to take a lot of battery I think and so definitely very interesting all right so I've now made 21 images. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to yaw this by approximately 30 some degrees. I think that's about, I'm guessing a little bit at the end, so it's easier, folks. So now I've set the second sequence of 21. And it's going through doing that second sequence. checking around me making sure everything's still clear sky is just beautiful today you know I just you notice that I'm gonna have to check their upward angle of this might be hitting the sunshade uh, okay, panorama completed. So now what I want to do is I want to yaw back around to another roughly 30 degrees, 33 degrees. And I'm going to hit... Now this will be the final run of the, the panorama sequence for this flight. Going through, we're nine to twenty-one. So I'm not sure when it hits the top. It's uh, I don't know if it's hitting that sunshield. I'm going to have to do some investigation. It does not uh, seem to go up that high. If it's uh, under manual mode, but it seems to be hitting that high with the maybe with the panorama. So now I've successfully captured this. Um, and I do still have plenty of battery left, which is very, very cool. Um, 
So I'm going to switch this back and go back into video mode and capture some video. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to switch over and we're going to hop to the computer now. And uh, let's take a look into the computer. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to create some panoramas for this. And we're going to see how this comes out using the 63 images that we just took. Okay, welcome back. So now we're in the computer. We've uh, actually imported the 63 images into uh, the ICE program or the image composite editor from Microsoft and we have successfully created a 360 degree image. And don't worry about the flashing on the screen, that's just the screen ca capture software in the graphics card. But uh, down here what you'll notice is it says, which is interesting, uh, stitch 63 of 63 images so it's able to use all of our images spans 360 degrees horizontally and 86.3 degrees vertically. Now one of the interesting things you'll notice is it, it left a hole here at the bottom of uh, you know from where it was at that actually uh, cut out part of the spillway which I was actually hoping to get the whole spillway so I think I'm gonna have to experiment with um, probably putting that at the center of the uh, image because if you remember I took off from you know inside the bank area a little bit so it, it cut that out but the other thing I want to point out is this transverse cylindrical uh, setting so I found this to be the best uh, with regards to uh, having everything square because one of the things notice the spillway now I'm gonna spin around and look at the other side notice that it's um, I want to get it this back to being and here, notice how square that is so if I look at it that way because one of the things if I look go to stereographic you notice how it puts the bend in it now it's sort of an interesting uh, view but it's an incorrect view but if I go back uh, here it straightens it out and so actually I think that we could probably even use more images uh, maybe from the same altitude and spread them out um, in location and have it stitch it to get even a, a, a deeper image, especially horizontally, or sorry, vertically, because we're, uh, we're a little bit challenged here at only about 86.3 degrees vertically. So anyways, I, I'm pretty excited about this. This is quite the image size, uh, to be frank with you, and uh, I think pretty interesting. I've always wanted to really mess around with um, uh, you know 360 images and to be able to capture them on the spark and you know then put them out on a website I think it'd be pretty cool so you notice the holes here that I have as I zoom out and so um, obviously because we've had such a limited horizon but if we if we come back in and we actually uh, come into that you know roughly uh, 86 degree field of view you notice we really don't have any holes so this came out pretty good I'm, I'm pretty happy with it so if we look at the perspective of the copter itself um, it did a pretty good job and I think the ice application did a pretty good job too and again you know I'll render this image out but uh, I won't make you wait through that so anyways big thumbs up on this this did work um, you know what we did is we rotated the copter by 120 degrees we took three sets of 21 in 180 degree panel and um, you know one of the thing is I, things I do not see is, is a lot of aliasing you know in other words where there are uh, different tones between where it's stitched so it has done a very good job especially since you know I'm going from looking away from the Sun whoops it's changed to looking into the Sun so I don't see any drastic cutoff areas which is really nice so anyways I'm giving this big success a thumbs up uh, I'll have links to this down below to the uh, ice software and everything and so give it a try in the spark if you're thinking about messing around with the creating 360 panoramas uh, I think this works pretty good now in the next video I'm gonna do I'm gonna test having done four so instead of you know rotating at 120 degrees uh, per image capture session we're gonna do it at about 90 degrees so anyways, let me know what you're thinking for lunch. I don't know today. Um, maybe some Japanese. That doesn't sound bad. Not a big sushi fan, but we'll go for the Japanese steak. And also, hit that subscribe button over there because you don't want to miss anything. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.